good day to you mate. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my Facebook page. Enjoy the video. In this video we will discuss line throwing appliances, how to use and its requirements, as per SOLA's regulation and LSA code. Line throwing apparatus refers to a class of life-saving appliances, LSA, that are found on every vessel. It is used to throw weighted ropes known as lines over long distances. It uses a variety of launching methods and can be used for numerous maritime applications. A line thrower may employ a variety of launching methods including guns, rockets, and pneumatics. Here are some useful information and sample procedure on how to use the Comet line throwing apparatus. For attempting to change the rocket, check the container recommended replacement date and inspect the unit for any signs of damage or wear. If the recommended replacement date has passed or if there is any sign of damage, the device must not be used and a replacement obtained. When changing the rocket, it is recommended that you do this on a suitable flat surface with sufficient working space and, if possible, outside. These are the components of the line thrower. White top cover. Coiled line. Pull jack steel cables. Pull jack fixed to rocket. Rocket. Before starting the replacement procedure, it is extremely important that you first check the twist grip to make sure the security pin is in place and the safety seal is intact. The security pin is there to prevent accidental deployment and if the pin is missing or if the seal is broken, do not proceed with the rocket replacement. Remove the white top cover of the container by prising it off using the tab at the top with the finger hole. Remove the white polystyrene stopper that sits on top of the rocket and put it carefully to one side. You will need it when reassembling the line thrower. Warning! Under no circumstances should you remove the stopper from the middle of the coiled line. This may render the device unusable. Pull the rocket out of its shaft using the pull jack wires. Untie the line from the end of the rocket wire. Put the old rocket to one side to avoid mixing up the old and new. Tie the free end of the coiled line, marked with a label, to the wire of the new rocket using a bowline knot. Make sure it is tightly knotted. Put the new rocket into its shaft with the two side brackets of the pull jack facing into the device. The brackets must sit on the inner edge of the plastic guides towards the coiled line. If the rocket won't slide in easily, it may not exit the device properly, so adjust its position if necessary until it drops in under its own weight. Make sure the pull jack connecting wires are placed into the two slots in the shaft adjacent to the coiled line. Coil the plastic coated connecting wire loop onto the top of the coiled line. Then push the white polystyrene stopper firmly back on top of the new rocket as far as it will go. Make sure that the knot on the pull jack wire will not hinder the rocket when firing. The cover can now be snapped back on, making sure it is the right way on and is secured all the way around. Attach a rocket date sticker to the allocated area on the line container to indicate when the rocket was changed. This saves the crew or surveyor having to remove the rocket to check its expiry date. Expired rockets should be disposed of correctly and never used in another unit for practice purposes. The Comet Portable Line Thrower 250, although principally a safety device, can be used for all applications at sea, ship to ship, ship to shore and ship or shore based rescue operations. In calm conditions, it can project a line a minimum of 230 meters. Remove the front cover and then the safety tape and pin. Point the line thrower over the top of the target in the direction required, or aim slightly upwind if there is a crosswind. Brace the thrower for some slight recoil. 
Then turn the rear grip to the left or right to fire. If the unit misfires, hold it in the firing position for at least 60 seconds, then make it safe by immersing in water. SOLAS requires four complete rocket and line assemblies to be carried on board. Refer the requirements for line throwing appliances to Regulation 18 of Chapter 3 in SOLAS Regulation and Section 7.1 of LSA Code. Every line throwing appliance shall be capable of throwing a line with reasonable accuracy. Include not less than four projectiles, each capable of carrying the line at least 230 meters in calm weather. Include not less than four lines, each having a braking strength of not less than 2 kN, and have brief instructions or diagrams clearly illustrating the use of the line throwing appliance. The rocket, in the case of a pistol fired rocket, or the assembly, in the case of an integral rocket and line, shall be contained in a water resistant casing. In addition, in the case of a pistol fired rocket, the line and rockets together with the means of ignition shall be stowed in a container that provides protection from the weather. Okay, mate, that's all for line throwing appliances. I hope it gives you a piece of information, and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching mate and if you like the video, please click the like button, please subscribe, and hit the notification bell button to keep updated in my upcoming videos.